Hi, Smart Traders. So 2022 has officially come to an end. But before we look ahead at 2023, looking at what trading opportunities that we could possibly have in the year to come, let's take a minute just to reflect on some of the stories that made headlines during this year. Let's kick things off in January. In January, we saw the crypto crash wipe out $300 billion from the market. Bitcoin suffered a disastrous start to 2022. The price of the crypto king fell to a three-month low on January 10th as part of the broad cryptocurrency sell-off. This also affected other cryptocurrencies such as BNB, Ethereum, Ripple, etc. The US Federal Reserve sparked the crypto crash as it stated it may move quicker than expected to reserve policies meant to bolster the U.S. economy during the ongoing pandemic. Bitcoin fell below $40,000 for the first time since September 2021. It then dropped by as much as 5% to 39692 on January 10th. By December 2022, Bitcoin has not recovered to above $20,000. In February, the Ukraine crisis caused oil to hit $100 a barrel and the markets to tumble. The oil price rose to above $100 a barrel on February 24th, the highest in more than seven years as fears of a Russian invasion of Ukraine rocked the financial markets. Oil prices rose to above $100 a barrel and global stock markets tumbled after reports of widespread military action by Russia against Ukraine heightened fears of a major war in Europe. Brent crude futures were trading at $100.01, while WTI crude was trading at $105.29 a barrel. By December 2022, supply concerns and sanctions against Russia have maintained volatility in the oil market. In March, we were in for one serious roller coaster ride. Global markets continued to be rattled by Russia's ongoing invasion of Ukraine. Russia was hit hard by global sanctions with the country's currency, the ruble, being devastated and high inflation has seen its financial institutions crash. Global markets have continued to watch the situation in the Ukraine with great interest. By December 2022, this geoeconomical event causing global conflict has not yet been resolved. In April, we still saw global airlines having a slow return to the skies. The COVID-19 pandemic devastated the travel industry, with many airlines grounded for years. In 2020, airline industry's revenue totaled $328 billion, about 40% of the 2019 earnings. With dwindling COVID-19 numbers, effective vaccines, and lockdown lifted, there was hope that many will take to the skies again. Unfortunately, high fares were becoming the norm. Airfare in the US was up as much as 13% compared to 2021. And this caused that airfare just became too expensive. And a lot of people didn't want to fly anymore, causing airlines to suffer. In May, we saw BP's profits soar as oil companies raked in billions. The global economy was still reeling from the ongoing conflict in Eastern Europe. As Russia's invasion of the Ukraine persisted, many countries were reporting escalating fuel prices curbing economic growth. One sector, however, was thriving. Oil companies were reporting record profits in quarter one of 2022. By December 2022, most countries across the world are still feeling the effects of record high fuel prices. In June, we saw the equity market boom, generating trillions in company deals. The global economy may have been headed for a recession, but one sector saw incredible growth, and this was the private equity market. Since the advent of the pandemic in 2020, the equity market proved itself resilient and attracted many new investors. Speaking about new investors, in June, we saw reports that the world's richest families were pouring their wealth into equity markets. This, however, was quite strange for most investors, seeing that the stock market was busy crashing, cryptocurrencies were tumbling, and we saw record high interest rates, showing that 2022 up until this point was quite disastrous. However, despite this hardship, 
we still saw that the world's billionaires were still investing into equities, proving that the investment strategy of buying low and selling high was still adamant within the world's wealthiest 1%, and definitely an investment strategy that the rest of the world could learn from. In August, Walmart's African expansion saw the US retail giant making a $377.6 million, roughly 6.4 billion rand offer to purchase the remaining 47% of the South African retailer Massmart. Shares of Massmart surged 46% after the allying company announced news of the offer on August 29th. In September, we saw Porsche's IPO debut of $72 billion. If you wanted to invest in something exciting, what was more exciting than high-end sports cars? The luxury car maker Porsche took a huge gamble that looked set to pay off on the stock market. Porsche made its stock market debut on September 29th with a price tag of $72.45 billion. Its blockbuster debut prices its shares at the top end of the range despite turbulent market conditions. The incredible flotation generated $19 billion for the parent company Volkswagen. This came at a time of major instability within the European markets. In October, we saw the peak of inflation, with the IMF forecasting that global growth would slow from 6% in 2021 to 3.2% in 2022 and then to 2.7% in 2023. This would be the weakest growth since 2021, except the global financial crisis and the acute phase of the pandemic. This would definitely create some fantastic trading opportunities going into the new year. In November, we saw the 2022 FIFA World Cup in full swing. What made this specific World Cup so spectacular was that the event was hosted for the very first time by a Middle Eastern nation. The four-week-long event saw hundreds of thousands of visitors to the tiny nation of Qatar, as well as raking up hundreds of millions of views streaming across over 200 countries. Qatar invested over $200 billion into this specific World Cup, making it the most expensive World Cup to date. During this time as well, many football fans were interested to see how their favorite football players invest their wealth. And that brings us to the end of the year. In December, we saw oil prices remain volatile as OPEC Plus implemented its oil production cuts and price cap on Russian oil. Early in 2022, a price cap of $60 was placed on Russian oil and this was negotiated by the EU, the G7 and Australia. OPEC Plus had agreed to cut oil by, by 2 million barrels per day, 2% of the current world demand. From November 2022 until the end of 2023. Meanwhile, in Europe, gas prices have stabilized for the time being as the Northern Hemisphere winter sets in. This has caused investors to look at energy stocks for great buying opportunities leading into 2023. Should you want more information on this, kindly comment your interest in the section below. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey, Smart Traders. And if you haven't done so yet, kindly just like this video and subscribe to our channel. May you all have a prosperous and profitable 2023. Cheers.